Mike Purser here again, and today we will have a look at what I think is one of the most important dimensions of rigging. This is the dimension coaches typically let their athletes change every time they get in a boat. Did you guess footstops? And when the athlete moves the footstops, the dimension that changes is the stroke position. This video will discuss the dimension of stroke position and how we measure it. Stroke position is the location of the stroke arc relative to the boat. It is often measured in degrees of oar catch angle, finish angle, and total arc. This graphic shows how the dimension of catch length controls the stroke position, and coaches often use marks or straws on the gunnels and have athletes move their footstops accordingly to set the oar catch angle. Another quick and easy way to assess the stroke position is a measurement by time. The time the oar is in the water from catch to perpendicular of the boat relative to the entire stroke. This comparison gives us a percentage of the stroke before the oar reaches perpendicular. The first step to measuring stroke position is to capture video of the athlete rowing past a stationary camera or smartphone at race rate and race intensity. Similar to previous rigging analysis videos, you must use a playback software with a frame timer that displays the time in hundreds or thousands of a second. To measure the stroke position, identify the frame time at the catch when the blade is fully buried. Here we see the catch fully buried at 1.351 seconds. Record the time and forward the video to the frame where the oar is perpendicular to the boat. Large crews with multiple oars may be challenging, and it's best to look for the frame where most of the oars are perpendicular. The time for perpendicular here appears to be 1.785 seconds. For the time, and next, identify the finish position frame. Here we see the blade in it is in its most sternward position at 2.068 seconds when the blade is most sternward and the athlete's hands have stopped moving towards the body. Now that we have the times for catch, perpendicular, and finish, we can calculate the stroke position. This slide shows the formula to calculate stroke position. It is the percentage of time from the catch to perpendicular relative to the entire stroke. Here we see that this athlete has a stroke position of 60.5%. This stroke position measurement is quick and easy and provides coaches an insight to their rigging analysis. As noted at the start of this video, stroke position is a critical dimension of rigging. It is a factor that affects both blade slip and drive time. I have measured the top 12 finishers at the World Championships in the 10 singles categories, senior, under 23, and junior, including lightweights, for both men and women. The data shows the average stroke position for all singles categories combined is 66%. This varies slightly with categories, but generally two-thirds of the sculling stroke should be before the pin. With this information, coaches can adjust the footstops and change the stroke position. If you thought this video was useful, please like it below and visit my Rowing Perseverance Facebook page for more coaching development tips.